like to listen under the stars, but for some of the music and the fans, it's not exactly spring anymore. Rock and roll has hit middle age. WIFF News Source Michael Cogdill, who tells us he is proudly ah. middle age, uh -huh. Uh -huh. joins us. Do we dare call them oldies, Michael? You didn't want to say that, did you? I, uh, I did not. I didn't want talking, to offend you. You're talking about the music or the fans here? Uh, we got to be careful. You can call me middle age anytime. Uh, we can still get our cool on, and this season, South Carolina will surely do that. From Earth, Wind, and Fire at the Peace Center. To yes, Paul McCartney in Columbia. Sir Paul this summer will turn 73 years old. Just a number, I know. And at the Charter Amphitheater in Simpsonville last Friday night, we found out it's the musical numbers that really count. Dressed in their years, the fans still roll in from all over to hear some older boys who can still rock a girl's heart. What are you going to do when he comes out? Are you going to get I'm going to faint. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be here watching. I'm a nurse, but I am going to pay. 45 years on the road, and the Doobie Brothers still sing about Jesus and Midnight Ladies. Pam and Regina rode two and a half hours from Camden because they don't make them like this anymore. You can sit in the, around a campfire and listen to this all day. Yeah. You can't do that to Beyonce. <laughs> Sorry, Beyonce, but I'm just saying, I'm being honest. It's just, this is real music. It seems it's real family. That's original doobie guitarist Tom Johnston on your right, Roger Brown of Malden holding up all that hair on the left. How have they changed over the years? They haven't. That's the thing about them. They, they haven't. Well, maybe a little. Backstage, watch Tom suddenly recognize his friend who toured with the Doobies as an audio man in the 70s. Hey, long time, bro, long time. The Doobies motto is once a Doobie, always a Doobie. And uh, so that's what makes it family. And age seems to make the rock star magic even stronger. Listen to Pam become a girl again, trying to guess the album that holds her favorite song. Don't be mad at me, but it might be um, the Captain and Me or Stampede or... Oh my God! Oh, don't even tell me because I know this. But anyway, don't. It's the captain to me. Ah! Yes, yeah, clearly the audience still loves to romance a musician. But maybe you wonder, the romance of the road after all those years, has it worn thin? Was it ever really there? I don't know if it was ever that romantic. But then Doobie co-founder Patrick Simmons and the others go out there again. One of the other members of the band says, uh, we get paid to travel and we play for free. Yeah. Right. And that's kind of the way it is, you know. <laughs> Still just boys dressed in their years with an ageless song or two on the road. Still kind of 16 years old probably. <laughs> Oh, Patrick, aren't we all still 16? The Doobies plan to keep at it, and they're passing it down. Their children, grown now, are musicians with them, going out on the road. And the Charter Amphitheater there in Simpsonville, just getting started this season, hosting John Fogarty in Boston this month alone.